Hello and welcome, I'm Impact Frames. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use real-time latent consistency models. In last week's video, I showed you how to use it with Comfy UI and Stable Diffusion, and now we have it here. I was saying that we were uh, going to have it real-time, and here it is. So now we can install this repo and have it like following your thing inside Zebros will follow any any program you can use this with uh, Photoshop Blender or I'm even using it with VR a, a program called Medium for sculpting too and it's super interesting when sculpting because you can start like finding different shapes like start modeling your themes like with the feedback with the AI and start finding new shapes for your thing but it also distracts you so if you have like a concept in your head I would recommend not to use it but if you really are lost and you don't know what to or you want to find a super interesting concept like really bizarre creature like this then you can use this thing to like inspire you and I think if you are a sculptor or 3D artist and I think most people is gonna become artists now because this thing opened too much possibilities for people to use. But if you are an artist already, so you can have like a lot more fun with this. And as you can see here, it's also following the colors, the materials, and soon we will have the control net for this. This uh, iteration doesn't have it, but the next one will have control net, and that will means that you have a lot more control over your creation especially when you are drawing like you will have like for photoshop you will have a lot more control and this still is super interesting and it's a shame that halloween just passed and i miss it with this i should have made this video a week ago and yeah see how cool the the shapes and if you put something new in here like these double heads let's put them more in there right Yeah, so let's go and, and show you how to install this thing. And basically to install it, you come here into the repo. I'm gonna put the, re the link in the description, also the video from last week. Uh, you can find it here at the top, uh, over my head. And yes, uh, you can come in here, create a Python environment, you activate the environment and then pip install the requirements. And then you have this comma starting the, the, uh, the app in image to image and there are some flags that you can use here you can also install this with a docker image if you don't want to install it like in the traditional way and there is also a demo in the hogging face that you can use if you want to test it first and you can use your webcam and what it will do is similar to this similar to my character that i have here my anime boy here you will change your pictures with the um, prompts that you put in there and as i was saying this is also based on the on the paper from uh, Simeon Lu and this is using uh, still the Dream Shaper v7 but i saw that he's gonna publish on the xdxl he's working with the with the xdxl probably will uh, also release the training which will make this thing uh, explode and as you can see here we have the OBS also so if you don't have OBS you're gonna need it with Firefox to you will create uh, a virtual camera in OBS to select a new window captured in your OBS software you select your software here like for example I'm using ZBrush and then you connect that to uh, Firefox. I don't think any Chromium software works. So Chrome, Edge, and, and Firefox is also really interesting. So you can come in here and select your thing when you start your, your app. You uh, get the prompt for your camera and you just uh, select the OBS virtual camera from the drop down menu and it will appear here, like in here in my little uh, capture. 
And as you can see here, now I can come and edit my with things like this. With a stuff of nightmares, there are a stuff of nightmares. Let's see. Yeah, well, so that's all for the video. I hope you enjoy it. And let me know if what you think about this, if you're going to be using it. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.